everyone. Today we're here at the Geothermal Greenhouse Partnership and we're going to meet up with Udgar Parsons to learn more about powering a greenhouse on geothermal energy. Well, welcome to our geothermally heated dome in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. We're so lucky in Pagosa because we've got this vast reservoir of hot water underground that emerges naturally. It's an artesian spring and over the years people have drilled wells but also the town has installed a geothermal heating system to heat buildings close to this area. And we have benefited by getting the extra hot water that they don't use and we heat this growing dome with that hot water. And so this is a really fortunate thing it costs a little bit to install the heating system, but once it's installed, it's free heat for the rest of the time. So I'd like to explain a little bit about this dome. Uh, it stays 50 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. For instance, last night was minus five outside, and in here it was 50 degrees. So that's a huge difference. And so we're able to grow uh, bananas, we're able to grow citrus and things that would be very costly to heat a regular dome to grow those things. So we've got those things growing. So this is a community dome. There are three of these domes here in, uh, in Pagosa Springs and this is a community dome where members of community groups can come in and garden in different beds and everybody grows what they choose to grow and you can grow absolutely mostly anything year round and we give the extra food to the food banks the food pantries here in Pagosa Springs so that's a really nice thing we're able to do. The other dome is an education dome where we invite the children from the school to come and learn about gardening, growing, transplanting, harvesting and the third dome is called the Innovation Dome where we're experimenting with aquaponics and hydroponics to grow food very efficiently. So basically the way we're heating this dome is all these pathways have pipes running under them that we're constantly circulating hot water through and also the water tank has pipes heating it. So let's go and look at the way the system works. So I'd like to show you how this geothermal greenhouse actually works. And so what we have is the usual components uh, of a, a growing dome, which is the north wall insulation, the water tank, etc. But also we have a geothermal system which actually heats both the floor, the pathways, and it also heats the water tank. If you see those uh, pink orange pipes, there's coils of PEX in the tank and all day long we're circulating hot water through these pipes in the tank and we can maintain the tank at any temperature we choose. We choose 75 degrees, we've got goldfish in here, we've got beautiful aquatic plants and that constantly, uh, every night, that's giving out heat into the dome to stop it freezing. And so very briefly, what we've got here is a heat exchanger where we've got geothermal hot water coming in and that's coming in at 106 degrees. It's going through this side of heat exchanger and going out. And then on this side of heat exchanger, it's exchanging heat to the internal system where the water's coming out of the heat exchanger at 100 and it's got a little pump that's pumping through the water tank and through the floor and then it comes back in having given them all that heat and it comes back in at uh, 95. So all that heat has gone into the floor and into the water tank. And these are thermostatically controlled so we maintain a steady temperature. So what do you do if you don't have geothermal heat in your area? There are various things you can do which are very simple and the first simple thing is the growing dome comes with an undersoil heating slash cooling system. So in the winter, what we're doing is we're, when the sun shines, 
the air in the dome gets hot and we're blowing that hot air through the soil all day long and warming the soil. So that's a very simple system that actually comes with the growing dome greenhouse. The second system is where you actually enlarge that system, dig down three feet and have a huge network of pipes in the ground underneath the greenhouse where the temperature is stable at 50 degrees and so basically you're blowing air through that whole system and in the winter it helps to keep the dome warm and in the summer it helps to keep it cool. A more complex system but also very efficient is a geothermal system whereby you're digging and placing pipes in the soil quite a distance away from your house and then using the soil as a steady thermal mass and circulating water through that soil and then extracting the heat using something like um, an air conditioner or a refrigerator in reverse and these are geothermal systems whereby you're heating your house or your dome in the winter and cooling it in the summer. So those are some other systems that you can use if you don't have geothermal in your area. Thank you for watching our video on geothermal greenhouses. For more information on what the Geothermal Greenhouse Partnership is doing here in Pagosa Springs, you can check out their website, pagosagreen.org. And for more information on growing domes, you can check out our website, growingspaces.com. Make sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video. And follow us on all of our other platforms. We have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest.